Zevron. Yeah, I suppose you get one dexterity here. You lose one dexterity here, but get a uh, mini critical chance. And uh, this kind of good, but yeah, still tier three. So I suppose we will just sell it. Do we have any shops inside? Probably not. But that's three items to get rid of, so that's kind of good in my sort of situation. And maybe I could talk to some of my friends over here in the context of, uh, you know, our glorious future. And I should talk to, I suppose, Anora. Maybe she would explain her, you know, not super decent behavior. So where do we have uh, Alistair? Right there. Yeah, okay. Okay, you're there. Probably will trigger dialogues also. I want to have separate save. Maker's breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Indeed. After your rather alarming lack of subtlety, I feared the worst for you. I prayed for your safe return. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so sweet. It almost makes me want to kill you. Guys. Well, what did you expect me to do? You announced me to my father's most trusted lackey. Did the purpose of my disguise entirely escape you? I barely managed to slip away from her when we reached the palace. I am hoping that, despite our unfortunate beginning, we can still work together. Will you hear me out? Uh, you well, interesting. You asked for our help for a reason. We will need to work together and quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat, yet even now I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind controlled me. He may even believe it. Hmm, interesting. And what we can do about it? Is there no way to reason with him? I thought so. I'd hoped so. Hal's influence was strong. His death can only be a good thing. But even that will not be enough. I know my father. And he is committed to his course. He will see this through, no matter what. You will need ammunition come the lands meet. And I can help you in that regard. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Hal's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the lands meet, but you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. Well, and what of Alistair? I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough and decent. But even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan. I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Yeah, and I have a plan as well. And the plan is, actually... Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denerim. Poor Galen was a good boy, 
but Honora was always two steps ahead, had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she battered her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. Mm -hmm. Why do you think she's trouble? This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. Yeah, that's interesting. But aren't we planning to depose her? Honora was a capable administrator for Kaelin's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. Well, maybe Alistair should marry Anora. Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen unless they both agreed to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. Uh, so, uh, why is it so important to put uh, Marek's son on the throne? Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Orlesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Turniers. Okay, let's talk about something else. We certainly have a great deal to plan. What do you think he's doing in the alien age? Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Hmm. Well, I've got work to do. Of course. If I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy. And the sooner we know which she is, the better. Okay, and rest in the alien age. Another quest. Thing is, uh, we have some persuasion to do. Okay, so where is Alistair? Hey, mate. I know you don't like the idea and you can have... Uh, feel free to have an affair on the side. But we need you as a king, yes, but uh, with Anora as a queen. So that would be kinda better. Right? Let's see. Alistair is still around here. And I've done his quest, so maybe now she is more, you know. He is more, you know, friendly to me. Even in this sort of circumstances, which he doesn't like, but well, let's see. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. So, uh, some questions. Of course. Let's see... Why you have remained uh, a Templar if you hate the Chantry? Have you seen the uniform? It's not only stylish, but well made. I'm a sucker for good tailoring. I thought Templars wore heavy plate mostly. That's just in public. In private we have these yellow and purple tunics, right? Much more comfortable, and you don't break the beds when you jump on them during a pillow fight. And that's the reason... <laughs> So, this is where you deflect questions with humor, right? I'd use my shield if I could, but I think you might actually spot me hiding behind it. You don't really want to know about my being a Templar, do you? It's really quite boring. Well, maybe I do want to know. Poke, poke, poke. Tell me everything about your life, Alistair. All right, if you insist. It's not like we have anything better to do, right? The truth of the matter is that I did hate going to the monastery. The initiates from poor families thought I put on airs, while the noble ones called me a bastard and ignored me. I felt like Al Eamon had cast me off unwanted, and I was determined to be bitter. But I took some solace in the training itself, I guess. I was actually quite good at it. What did you enjoy about uh, training? The education, mostly, but also the discipline. 
You need to have a disciplined mind in order to use the abilities we have. It was difficult, but rewarding. I never really felt at home anywhere, though, until I joined the Grey Wardens. And Duncan felt my Templar abilities might be useful for when we encountered Darkspawn magic, so I kept it up. What about you? Do you have anywhere you consider home? My home was taken over by our home. Right. Stupid of me to ask. I'm sorry. We won't always be traveling like this, you know. Once the war is over, once the blight is... Well, a time will come when we'll have to think about having a real home again. Though that seems like a far ways off. And I suppose the Grey Wardens are gone for good either way. Well, they can be rebuilt. I suppose you're right. We can create new Grey Wardens, but we'll never get back those we lost. I wonder if it would ever feel the same. Anyhow, now I've sidetracked us. We'd better get back to what we're supposed to be doing right now. Yeah, right. So you don't have dialogue tree for uh, persuasion for Anora. Maybe I should start with Anora, actually. Where is she? There is she. Let's see. Maybe that's a better decision. Let's go talk with Anora. Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. I realize that my actions at Howe's estate may not have painted me in the best light. For that, I apologize and hope that we can start again. First, let me say that I knew your family. Eleanor, in particular, was dear to me, and what Howe did was unforgivable. How fitting he died at your hands. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. Mm-hmm. Are you proposing an alliance? That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy. Yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. Ha! Ah, I still want to go with this fourth option, actually. Why not simply marry Alistair, the best of both worlds? Ignoring that the man looks so much like Kaelin, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Kaelin as well. But it is true that Alistair has their own blood. To some, this is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? I think I could convince him. Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. I will speak with them. Do so. I will be interested to hear what he has to say. Okay, that's how I go with this uh, persuasion line. That's better. I think I may skip that uh, previous discussion with him. Since it was uh, kind of a bit pointless. Okay, yes, we're going there ish. And uh, hi there. So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. I think you'd be a great king, Alistair. Really? Whatever will give you that idea? You have a kind heart and a strong sense of justice. Well, it's nice that you think so. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just to let it happen? I think you should marry Anora. Marry her? 
As in marriage, as in be her husband. You've spoken to her about this? You did, didn't you? Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? That's crazy. <laughs> As she can do while well, you lead. It's perfect. I suppose. I don't know how much of a leader I am, but at least I know she's a good ruler. Go ahead then. Tell her I'll do it if it comes to that. Now excuse me while I go have a small heart attack somewhere. No big deal, right? I think you'll be fine. Oh, hopefully. Let's go back. I am a freaking courier, messenger of sorts. Okay, hello. Well, have you spoken to my lucky betrothed yet? Or will we be reduced to passing notes? He agreed to our terms. He has? I wasn't expecting that, to tell you the truth. To marry Kaylin's brother. Well, I suppose stranger things have happened. If it will truly help matters... Is this it, then? I agree to marry Alistair, to retain my throne, and in exchange I give you my support. If not, then tell me now. Yeah, uh, that's how it is. Done. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? Mm, I think I can uh, just go, but do you need anything? I... No. And while I know your concern is hardly disinterested, still, thank you. Yeah, cut dialogue, which is not precisely cut, so it was a bit glitchy, but we uh, performed this uh, deal, finished it, kinda. So it's nice, right? I haven't uh, been spending time for nothing. So I suppose we can go right, right of here. No, uh, no, we can't actually exit other than through this exit. Indeed. My yes. classic crew, folks. Okay, and now I can come to Alienage, which is a huge deal in itself. That's going to be interesting, right? Now, before I will do something like that. Yeah, I probably want to sell a few things. For example, to you. Probably not the best price, Welcome but back. still. Is there something else? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we are fine. Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. Oh, it's raised now. Okay. Let's save. Just beforehand. Okay. And now let's go. Can we? The alienage, right, it's appeared. It appeared here on the map. 